Sweden's Anna Norkvist is one of the most recognisable faces in ladies golf. She's won six LPGA titles since joining the tour in 2009, among them the LPGA Championship in her rookie season. That major is now the Women's PGA Championship, and at the 2016 edition, Anna Whiteley caught up with the world number 14. Anna, first of all, a huge congratulations. Now your sixth win on the LPGA Tour. Just how much did it mean to you to be playing so well, but to be back into this winner's circle? Thank you, yeah, it's, um, it feels like this year I played really good golf, just haven't really got any results out of it. So for a while it got really frustrating and my coaches and my caddy was just telling me to stay patient. Um, they saw how well I was playing week, after, week in and week out, but just really couldn't score. Um, and just waiting for the game to click a little bit longer and keep working at it, I think it meant more for me to finally win. Yeah. It just feels so great to, you know, when, when things are clicking and when I had to work so hard and stay really patient for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you didn't just win. You joined Annika with the tournament record at 17 under. To go that far with a win, how much confidence does that give you? And is it, do you know what allows your game to click like that? Uh, I wish I had a good answer. <laughs> um, trying to find it every week. Yeah. Um, but definitely, um, you know, I, I really work on state, like being consistent, um, especially tee to green. You're really not going to be that far off. Um, putting, uh, it's just a matter of staying patient and waiting for the putts to drop. And I hit my irons really good, and it's one of my strengths. So, shot 17 under, I think it made 13 birdies inside of three feet. So, yeah. um, it was a lot of fell what, what felt like easy birdies. Um, so it definitely, you know, gave me a lot of confidence. Well, you're a past winner here at the Women's PGA Championship back in 2009. It must be such a special week for you. How much have you seen this tournament grow over recent years? Back in 2009 it was my rookie year on tour and I ended up winning. Uh, it was quite the start of my career, really. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think this tournament has always meant a little bit extra to me. Um, and it's funny, this place, we, we play pack 10s here back in 2007, so I still remember a couple of the holes. And it's just been such a journey since. So it's great to be back and uh, KPMG, you know, has, has really pushed this tournament um, to a great place. Um, this golf course is probably as good as we were we're playing on tour. Yeah. Last year we played Westchester, so um, we're very lucky and, you know, the purses keep keep going up and, um, you know, just everything around it just feels so uh, professional. And like you say, with, well, with the PGA coming on board as well last year, the courses have got so much better, the purses have gone up. How much does that encourage you as an LPGA player that, you know, people are really keen to get this tour as big as it can be? Yeah, I feel very fortunate to be part of it and, um, you know, driving up to the clubhouse and having your driving or your parking spot, like, it just feels like a little surreal, mm -hmm. I would say, and, you know, I can just think of all these years and, um, you know, it's, it's quite a dream come true and I kind of had to pinch myself sometimes, <laughs> like, this is what I do, this is what I do for a living. Okay, I'll let you hit your second shot and then we'll get back with Sounds you. Sounds good, we'll see what we got here. Probably. Just trying to keep it right for that 150. Right yeah. So now, believe it or not, as I'm sure you know, you are the oldest winner on the tour this year by five years. I mean, you're only 29. The, the girls out here are so young and they're playing so well. What's it like when you've got all these teens coming up at such a high standard? It's just incredible. Uh, Lydia Ko is 19 and what she's done at such an early, early age. I wasn't even near close to that talent or at that level of game. Um, it just seems like the tour is getting younger and younger and I guess they're pushing us oldies. Uh, <laughs> got a lot of proposal for retirement home and stuff like that from yeah. my friends last week uh, winning, but um, I, I'm, I'm just very impressed. Um, Aria Jotarnigan winning three in a row and at such an early age. Um, they seem very mature, seem very fearless um, and it just inspires me to work even harder uh, to try to keep up with them, to be honest. And just finally, you're now 10th in the world. You'll be heading to Rio. How exciting is that for you? Are you looking forward to that week? 
Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's a dream come true uh, to represent Sweden in, in the Olympics. And ever since it got introduced to the Olympics, it's been, been one of my huge like, inspirations. And I watched a lot of Olympics growing up, obviously, and Sweden has quite the history. So uh, I'm going to be very proud wearing the Swedish clothes and yeah. you know being part of the team. Well, your game is in fantastic form. It's great to see you out there. Congratulations on last week. It's sixth time LPGA Tour winner and an Thank you.